and my mother said to the surgeon, my husband was exposed to Agent Orange, he was heavily exposed to dioxin, and the surgeon looked up and said, did you say dioxin? And my mother said, yes. And the surgeon said, that's the problem, and called the nurse and ordered an emergency CT. Uh, my father was James W. Clifford. Uh, he died in 2011. He was 64. And I can remember being little, like six or seven little, and thinking Agent Orange was a person or that Agent Orange was, you know, like a ghost. My brother was born in 77 with spina bifida. Agent Orange related AO spina bifida. Uh, and that, at that point, Agent Orange became a topic of conversation in my home. Uh, my brother had a little over 60 surgeries in his lifetime. He died at 34. What happens when you're in a children's hospital in the 70s and 80s is that you're on a ward and everybody else has spina bifida too. Uh, so you end up on a ward where everybody's got the same problems, right? Everybody has somebody who was in Vietnam. Everybody's got spina bifida. So I, I also think that there was, you know, well over a decade of just a lot of talk among the other parents uh, about where they had been, what was going on with their kids. He felt deeply guilty about something that was not his fault. He didn't want to talk about it, most certainly not with my brother and I. He felt responsible. My father was killed by his service, by it, not even something so innocent as friendly fire, something that was known, understood, and done on purpose. And at the very least, he has earned the respect that comes with an admission of guilt.